Witchcraft, devil worship, evil entities. Is this fact or folklore? As we visit the ancient Ram Inn. The oldest building in Wootton under Edge, Gloucestershire, the ancient Ram Inn was constructed around 1145 and is reputed to have been built over a 5,000 year old pagan burial site. The Ram has had many functions and owners over its long history, with current owner John Humphreys buying the property in 1968, living here among many uninvited guests. There are many reports regarding the alleged spirits of the Ram. There have been accounts about evil entities, including an incubus, a creature that spread of negative energy, a priest who was murdered in one of the bedrooms, and various links to witchcraft and devil worship. With many investigations having been done here, how much of the reported activity is fact or pure folklore? On this investigation, Spiral were invited to team up with Extreme Paranormal, Renegade Spirit, Paranormal Investigator David V, and guest medium Carol Sterling for a night of this historic property. And we're all looking forward to what the evening may hold. I've organised this event at the Ram for some close friends and uh, a few known people in the paranormal world. Um, a lot of positive energy here tonight. We've had a couple of incidents which um, some people could could um, see as a paranormal where some trance mediums has got the rough end of a stick and had to be carried out. And I got this gut feeling it's going to be a very active evening. We're going to do all the experiments, we're going to film as much as we can and see what we can get. Hi, I'm Richard from Renegade Spirit and we're here at the RAM investigation tonight. Richard, are you here? Richard has two desires. One is to kill his father. The is to go into the I'm Carol Stalin and I'm from Scotland and I've come all the way down to the ancient Rams Inn tonight and um, I'm here to do an investigation and I'm here for my very first time so it's going to be very interesting. We've already had a few happenings and I've had a walk around just downstairs. This is my first time coming up the stairs and on my entrance I was aware of a boy in the window upstairs so I've been desperate to get in here and find him. Um, I believe his name's Tom and I've already met with a man, a male figure downstairs and I believe I met a female somewhere so yeah it's going to be a good <coughs> night so it's been a good start to my walk around and it's not very often I'm mixing with spirit right away in my walk around so it's been a good start. There was a man dressed in like a Tudor headscarf at one stage <coughs> you know where they wrap around and oh. it hangs. Ah, 17th century pointy beard. You know, like the King Charles look. There's a man like that as well. There's, co there's cold spots and warm spots, and what I'm quite surprised about is it's a lot colder downstairs than it is up here. Mm. And I know people say heat rises, but there's no heat to rise. But when, you, when you're actually walking along, you can feel tracks of cool and tracks of warm. Like something there, and I was actually pushed. Somebody went like that. Oh, really? I went through the threshold of the door downstairs, and I went, mm. oh, ah, cool. Okay. So there was something. Okay, Alan and I are just walking into the the barn at the ancient Ram Inn to see what's going on. Some things have been happening already before we got here, so uh, we shall see. I get the feeling of someone sitting up there looking down on us. Was that just a sort of psychological feeling? <laughs> No, I quite think there is someone sitting up there watching. Can you please tap, move something, touch one of us, come in close. It's as if there's buildings here that are linked to an ecclesiastical. Right. You know, before the dissolution that were part of... And part of this building used 
to do with that. You know, when I say part, not all of it, but part mm. of it, it's as if an early part of it was to do with church or right. monastery. Carol, how was your first vigil upstairs? It was absolutely fantastic. What, anything great happen? Yes, we had some tappings, and I actually seen a materialisation of spirit show themselves to us. Something, if it, if you go into the into the queen into the uh, witch's room, feel well to me. Feeling and seeing it is very hot. There's a very hot, sort of ravaged energy wants to get now, but it's one of these energies you just can't quite tell what it is. We're all in the uh, bishop's room. There was something came in quite close to us. Really? Not in the barn. Yeah. Something quite negative as well. I need to go back down there then now it's all... Oh no. There's two male entities I picked up earlier. If either of you are around, can you show yourself? If you're here, tap. Come in close, let us see you. Is this the one you saw earlier on? Or, yeah. or Oh right, okay. Is it, was it in here? Or was it... No, in the witch's room. Right. Because she, she could she be walking about, couldn't she? But, so. but she was wearing a black bonnet, not a white bonnet. Right. I took it as. And um, she had a black dress, and it came in here and went out like that. Mm -hmm. That's all I know. And she, she didn't really want. I don't. She just kept looking at me as if to say, "Who are you?" Mm. you know? If there's anyone in this room, any spirit, people with us, would you please tap on a piece of furniture to let us know you're here? We come with utter respect, we're your friends. We'd really like to talk to you. Know that you're here. Yeah. It's really to bite now. Make a sound. Can you talk to us? With a lot of activity reported in the bishop's room, other team members joined us here. Karen, this is not a person you want inside you. <coughs> Karen, don't let him in. Come over here. Leave Karen alone. Come over here and try it with someone else. Who is that? Someone just. What the fuck? Uh. Uh. We just tapped on the. Uh. Uh. Sit down, sit down, Karen. Karen, sit down. No, Karen. Turn the light on, someone. Turn the light on, turn the light on. Light on, someone. Light on. Right, come forward, Karen. Come forward. 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 It's okay. Come forward. You're safe. You're safe. You're safe. You're safe. Calm down now. You're safe. It can't hurt you. It can't hurt you. You're safe. Calm down now. It's no one there. Alright, Karen. Alright, alright, alright. It's okay, Karen. So calm down. yourself down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Come on, it ain't gonna hurt you. It's not gonna hurt you. Can't hurt you. We just have Karen have an episode. Al was trapped outside. Absolutely. Okay. Shall we take a breather, guys? Let's take a breather. Allowing Karen to recover, we took a break and took the opportunity to talk with property owner John Humphreys. Now up above there is chock-a-block with furniture and that you hear a heavy footsteps going up and down, up and down. And when it was a pub, the pub was front part and all the men would be drinking in there <coughs> the footsteps going up and down. Yeah. Hey landlord, who's upstairs? No one. You better come in here and listen to this then. And they'd hear these footsteps going up and down. They'll all rush upstairs and no one there. Right up here as well. Yeah. You didn't touch this at all, you know? No, he's a son, he's dead. He's screaming. Well, and you saw it? Yeah, yo, we'll, oh, we didn't Let's have a look at these yeah. welts. Let's have a look at these welts. Have you got any light? <laughs> well, it focuses. In the witch's room, things were starting to get intense as Al became possessed once again. Can you go back or wait? Then we'll be back. Yeah? You're strong, eh? I'm here, what are you going to do? Yeah, you've got my hand now. Come on then, show me how strong you are. 
<laughs> because he's too strong. That's right, no, she's that's too strong. strong. <laughs> I think Al's too strong, isn't it? She. Yeah. Well, I'm going to see it tomorrow. Right, so. Fighter in my eye, I know. You only, you only pick on weak females. That's big of you, isn't it? But you're all man, aren't you? I know we're supposed to be polite to spirits, but you really ain't given us reason to be polite. What? Oh, you want the staff? Not gonna happen, mate. <laughs> no, no. Oi. What the? Get the hell. Step back. <laughs> Get off me, you. Thank you. Like Don't even try it now. now. Don't even try it. You don't like the equipment. Tough. Ow. Deal with it. <laughs> Don't you like it? <laughs> what are you oh, going to do on, now? Mate. Calm down, mate. <coughs> calm are down. you going to talk to us? Calm down. All right. No, no. Oh, no. no. <coughs> right. Okay. 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 He's on my fucking toe. Back here. <sighs> Be trying not to laugh because mm. it's going to hurt. Yeah, it can't. No. Then he can hurt. Oh, your whole laughs like the rest of us without this sort of stuff. If it's cold under, oh. I'll be messing around. I really don't think yeah, he Just mind the legs, they don't kick out or anything, kick you in the yeah, head so. or something. <laughs> does he want to, does he want to, to say anything? Are you ready to speak to me yet? Want we'll to speak to him? He's your victim. Ooh. Thank you, that was rather nice of you, mate. Okay, cool. Bless you. Fair oh. enough. I'll take that as a no then. Put your legs straight, mate. I don't think I'll bother asking. You can hear us, Al. Put your legs straight. <laughs> don't kick, Al. Al, don't kick. No. Go and sit on his leg. Al, cool. can you hear us? Can you fight it? Can you come through? <laughs> don't <laughs> You're getting a nice look there. <laughs> I, you're in range. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do a little experiment to try and figure out who is trying to do the, all the possessions of this evening. If you try and sort of like, no, if you try forcing him back, it's almost like he's twisting it. So you, oh. your concentration goes to pain. Mm -hmm. You've got four, pe pe four people in a car park staring at you. And dragging you outside. Right? Well, I wouldn't know. I'd say, I, yeah, I'm, I'm in here. The next thing I know, I'm out there. So this is this is the thing that worries me. Is this is building? It's still constantly building. So we've got more to come, and and we need to keep an eye on Alan. If it was dark, you might see that that's glowing. Yeah, it's true. Might be. Might be. Might be. I give you about five minutes. Or something, you can just go. Mm. It's like more where, there we go, where you two are just moving on. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's Michael, but does he want to talk to us again through you, or as in have a conversation, conversation like we had on the last time in the barn? In life, <coughs> he was actually quite a shy, retiring, mm -hmm. didn't really sort of do anything with his life, he was picked on a lot. But in death, he's found he can do something that shows power, mm. and he likes that power. So he's kind oh. of a bully in life. Not bully, a coward. Sorry. No, it was, it was yeah, a coward, coward in life, life sorry, but in right, death, yeah. he's a, like found this newfound power. Power. I now have the power over you. Yeah. Yeah. The personal feeling I get is is after revenge, yeah. and he very often sees that in other mediums. I don't know why, but it seems to be other mediums that he's intent on. Having a go at. Mm. So to speak. Let's have Al back, please. Back off. Al, come forward now. As soon as we get, get that, that door open, get open ready. As soon as we get, as as we get a slight run. glimmer of Al, we've got to get him out oh, of yeah. here before, before um, some of the others jump in. Mm -hmm. I'm back. Al, you're back with us, Al. Al, ignores protest, we've got to move him. Hold. All right. All right. So, does your arms hurt? In your cool, Kieran. Well, All right. So, does that hurt? Uh, others will jump in if we. No, no. Does your arm hurt? Oh, oh, it's tight. All right. Free. Go. Oh, not again. No, 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 no. There's three brothers here. It's a bit nasty. My voice. Yeah. And they kind of like dominate things usually. We've had quite a lot of dealings with an entity. Use your legs, mate. Use your legs. 
to me. To you. Go Someone get some lights on. <laughs> Um, Ow. which is possibly the elemental thing, you know, shapeshift or whatever they want to call is that it. You, Al? What works for John is when it when it starts creeping up his legs, he uses his Bible and his faith's strong enough. Mm. Oh, yeah. And what, whether it's his faith, <coughs> Bible or his own will, it seems him? to work for him. Mm. Maybe. Uh, Listen to me, Al. It's only red I know you're there now. I know you're there. I know you're there. Come on. Listen to my voice, Al. Listen to my voice. Come to my voice. Come to my voice. You've got more, mate. I can got some more. You are. Yeah, I'm okay. No, don't leave your things out, mate. It's fucking great. I mean, the father, the son, father Ted be doing this. Yeah, that's what I thought. I can't shoot. Oh, you get some more. What's on the door, bro? Fine, bring it out. Right out. It's alright, it's female. Our night at the ancient Ram Inn has certainly been eventful. Had Spirit come out of hiding and made his presence known through members of the team? It's hard to be objective with the amount of alleged possessions occurring. And it's up to you to draw your own conclusions. <laughs>